არის მრავალ ფუნქციური და შედარებით დაბალფასი დაბალი ღირებულების ხელის პროთეზი, რომელიც ჯეჯობით ხოლოს არტაბის დონეზე ვართ, ჩვენ უკვე გაკეთებული გვაქვს ერთი პატარა 5 წლის ბავშვისთვის თუ აქვს-დები ხელი და ახლა მაღალ ტექნოლოგიურად ვცდილობთ რომ განავითარო შედარებით და არტაბის და დაფინანსება სწორედ ამ ვიცით შეიძლება. მაგალითად არის ჩვეულებრივი ხელის მოხრა გაშლა, თითების მოხრა გაშლა, და დაიყონე თითზე. და ეხა გვაქვს კიდევ პიანოს ფუნქციონალი ან უბრალოდ აი ამ ასე ხილა ამის დადებით გადადის ცალკეულ თითების მოხრის ფუნქციონალზე ასევე ჩვენ გვაქვს მაუსის ფუნქციონალი შეგიძლია ეს ხედი პირდაპირ შეაერთო კომპიუტერში და ჩვეულებრივი მოძრაობით ფუნქციონირებს როგორც მაუსი ხილაკის დაჭერა ხილა ჩვენ მარჯვენა ხილაკის დაჭერა სკროლი ასე შემდეგ დღესდღეობით მარკეტზე ძალიან ძვირი ხელის პროთეზები არის და პრობლემა ეს არის რომ ბავშვებს ხშირად უწევთ მისი გამოცვლა და ძირითადად ვერავინ ვერ წუდება ამას და ასევე ძალიან ძნელი გამოსაყენებელია როგორც ესე ერთი წლის მერეც კი ამბობენ რომ ვერ ვიყენებთ და ძალიან გუჭირს მისი გამოხმარებული და ჩვენი ხელი ამას აგვარებს როგორც ესე 3 კუნძზე ან 4 კუნძზე არის ხოლმე დამოკიდებული და ჩვენ ხოლმე ერთი კუნძ ვაგვარებ ყველა ფუნქციონალს რაც აჭერ ფიქრობ რომ შეესლებელი არის ჟური დაორწმუნოთ იმაში რომ ჩვენ მჭირდება დაფინანსება ერთ-ერთი ამის მთავარი საერო რომ დღეს პრეზენტაციამ კარგად ჩაიაროს I don't want to spoil that. Hello, welcome. Hello. <sighs> Is my mic working? Uh, yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. So, please. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We are Hand for Health, and we'd like to present you multi-purpose and low-cost hand prosthetics. There are several well-known problems on the market of hand prosthetics. First and most important one of them is the high price. The cost for artificial hand ra ranges from $3,000 up to $100,000. No wonder that most families cannot afford it. As you know, children and teens grow up very fast, so even more families are unable to replace the hand for their children annually. Uh, engines for such hands are too big for most companies to fit inside the palm of their artificial hand. So, people who have injuries below their elbow and around the wrist are unable to access the product. Also, many users have reported that these hands are very hard to use and even after one year they cannot use them freely. So, our team, which consists of students and we have an advisor, Um, has come up with an idea to solve all the, all the problems I mentioned above. We have worked individually on our product, projects and together as a team we have won Europe Foundation funding and the hackathon. So, when we uh, came, saw the problem and we saw the opportunity, we went to local hospitals in Tbilisi and found this little awesome girl who just wanted to play with her toys. We felt very motivated and Uh, together with Enable Community, created first our first mechanical hand for her. On the picture, you can see how happy she is when she's holding her Barbie in her left hand for the first time in her life. At the moment, we are working on electronic prosthetics. It's based on Maya muscle sensor, and uh, it's using the RFID scanner integrated in it. It uh, scans the approached object and behaves accordingly. And currently, we have implemented mouse and piano functions, and we believe this hand will open up many new possibilities. Now I'd like to talk about the business model. Production cost for electronic model is $300. By our estimates, the sales price should be $1,200. On the other hand, production of mechanical model costs only $20. So here's our mission. We want to make the world a better place, at least for those with a disability. So for each electronic model sold, we want to give away three mechanical models to, for free to those in need. We believe such move will be very good for marketing campaign and it will promote our product. We want to primarily focus on B2C direct sales, but uh, using online stores like Amazon, eBay, or we might even create our own web service. But this doesn't mean avoiding long-term contracts with government, hospitals, or insurance enterprises. There are several bar barriers for the entrance on the market. Firstly, 
we need moderate financial capital. Well, that's why we are here right now. And uh, second, is, and more importantly, the current micro scheme we use to detect muscle movements does not have a certification of health safety. We want to create our own, certi uh, our own micro scheme and acquire such certification. Such certification. Uh, after the micro scheme is created, we want to commercial uh, monetize on it and sell them to other people who want to research and create their own products. By our estimates and calculations, the total addressable market is $8.4 billion, and this is huge. In the long term, we want to establish social community, that, uh, community. This will allow us to have frequent communications with the users and improve user experience, therefore improving our product. This community will be similar to, to enable community, and I want to remark that we were first ones to represent Georgia and Caucasia in the, uh, on the world map of enable hand prosthetics production companies. We want to reward our loyal customers and create workplaces for them. We believe that every human ha should have a chance to be engaged in the process of changing the world. C as you know, currently we are a newly founded company and uh, public trusts hospitals more than they do trust us. So we want to communicate with hospitals directly <coughs> to increase public trust in our product. At the moment, there are several competitors on the market. Touch Bionics and Open Bionics are just two of them. Touch Bionics uses molded steel to create their product. Uh, therefore, their product is very high in quality. It's close to real hand functionality, but their price is also very high. Open Bionics, on the other hand, uses similar technology as we do, but they have very limited functionality. As I said, we have integrated RFID scanner, th thus lowering the price, but extending the functionality. Now, as I mentioned above, uh, we have already won Hackathon and Europe Foundation funding, which amounts to a total of $11,000. This uh, $1,000 have already been spent on developing the prototype you can see here. And now we request another $47,000 for further advancement. Uh, this money will be spent on developing the hardware and software, uh, redesigning the hand for testing and for first bits of marketing. Uh, for Series B, we'll request another $1.5 million uh, to go on Georgian and Caucasian market and test the products, and most of the money will be spent on marketing and customer services. Uh, you can see our financial forecast on the screen. First of all, the first year we'll have little to none uh, revenue. For the second year, when we have already developed the micro scheme I talked about, uh, the revenue will start coming. And by the fifth year, when we uh, will have already gone global, we expect to have $70 million uh, income annually. Thank you for your attention. You can see our contact information on the screen. And if you have any questions, Please ask. So your, your girl grabbing her Barbie doll is just so touching that <laughs> you'll get you. investors for no other reasons other than emotion. I'll make two points about that, yes. by the way. So there are agencies in the US, the NGOs like USAID, like the World Bank IFC, like our friends from EBRD that are here mm -hmm. in third world or emerging markets. These are the kind of things they look for because they tie to the emotional change of the process. So don't forget that they're sources of funding as well as the sources that you're looking for in, the, in our world. The other point I'd make is in Silicon Valley, you may or may not get as much institutional interest, but I can tell you, you will get hundreds of angels who emotionally invest because of the emotion of what the process is about. And hopefully you'll ultimately build that angel network here too. How can I? How frequently can you improve the onboard software of the prosthetic? Well, that's our thing. Uh, you can connect the hand to the computer and download software yes, update. Right. You can request another software, another functionality you need, and we'll provide it very easily using the software. You won't have to go to a service center or upgrade the hand. It's only done by the software. Is your arm tired? Your you can, you can, you can bring you it want. down if you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. How, how, how much is it attached, the sensor, to the uh, muscle? Does it, does uh, it sit hard on the, on the arm? Uh, how, how is the, it attached? Yes, here. 
No, how? How? How, 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 how is it or sticky? Uh, yeah. It's called electrodes, and uh, it ca ca catch the. They sand. stick to it automatically to the skin. Uh, no. How does it stick? Yeah. How does it stick? Oh. Yeah. Just curious. The usual. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay. Do you so, have someone who yeah, will yeah. manufacture these? You know, yeah, we do know? it our, on our own. We have a team. As I said, uh, I'm software developer. He's physicist. We have engineer as well. And uh, we use 3D printed, 3D printer and do it on our own. See, that's if really you sell important. thousands yeah. of them, you can do yes. that? You, you can, well, you can... we hope so. Okay. <laughs> do you, do you have an I have two comments. Do you have an estimate of the cost? Yes, uh, the cost for this was a bit less than $200, but we want to add several more functionalities, like oh, maybe... Oh, so it's fairly low compared yes, to the price. Yes, I want, I remarked that $300 would be the top. Said, and I just have a suggestion for you. Yes. There is a company in Canada called Mayo. My, am I, we use notice? Mayo sensor. Is that from them? Yes. That's that, okay. But they I was said, wondering the connection, so that's theirs. Yes, but they said uh, do not use for health issues because these do not have such certification, yeah, yeah. these micro yeah. But uh, that's why we want to develop our own. One. Oh, you have to do your own because Yes. Okay. We could uh, contact such companies that do the research, but it will, uh, but the price will Seems get higher. Like you could use their technology and then get it certified on your yeah. own because they're yeah. doing all the software to do all of the recognition, yes. all of the you know, signal processing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. How Very many good. units of your competitors sold, do you know? Uh, wait, excuse me. You mean uh, Open Bionics yeah. hasn't started selling commercial uh, monetizing? Actually, they are still developing their product, but the price is their estimate. And Touch Bionics, I believe, sold around 1,000. I don't remember the exact number. About 1,000 units. Yeah, around yeah. that. Yeah, so I think you need to look at your available market. There's a, I mean, these sort of products are. Yes. Uh, interesting to finance, uh, as, as Mark has pointed out. I mean, a friend of mine runs a company called Bend and You, which is mainly for people who are blind. Uh, it's a $40 million, $50 million a year revenue company. Um, it's run as a nonprofit. Yes. Um, it's a very good company, great employees, um, but run as a nonprofit as, as opposed to a for profit yes. business. And because of that, they've been able to gather financing from sources that are that are different, traditional different yeah. Gates Foundation. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. But so today there are more and more investment firms mm -hmm. that are what we call social impact investing yeah. and they will invest in things that are meant to be profitable but also for the social good and there are more firms like that now than there mm -hmm. used to be. What, what's the name of the eBay Founders Fund that's all social oh, impact? Oh, um, yeah. 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 it's so they very much laser focus on things like this. And, they, and they're in a lot of different global markets, as is the Acumen Fund. Oh, as for our argument, I would like to say that in Georgia and Caucasia, there are no such companies that produce. And it's in urgent need. People in Georgia and Caucasia have relatively low income to those, uh, compared to those in the United States. And they cannot afford Touch Bionics product, and therefore, uh, there are no companies that produce, and people who do not have uh, the hand, they use cosmetic ones only. No, I think the point, yeah. the, the point they're making is that yes. if how, to get, how to get investment. Yeah, if you're looking for investors, yes. then investors Different are going to wonder how many units can you sell, and can it be a large-scale business? And right. often in products like this, it can't be a large-scale business. Yes. But it's a big business, and it's a great business to be in. But but if you know that going into it then you can potentially structure yourself so that people like the Gates Foundation mm -hmm. who seek nonprofit and nonprofit mm -hmm. support but not like you know equity investments that'll allow you guys to continue to build it to, and, and be successful uh, it's just you know you. it's just not it's tough to, to it's make these kind of into big for-profit kinds of businesses that VCs mm -hmm. invest in I but the beauty of those sources, like the Gates Foundation, is it's non-dilutive, so you don't give up equity. Yeah. You get grant funding. Yes. So uh, that's the Europe Foundation I talked yes. about is the same. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. Very Great. good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, Bye.
Please put your arm down. That's silly. His arm is going to burn off. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, probably, as Italian moids on the training project, I could have some. Second perspective, we have silicon energy asset projects. Asset percent tapping and seven and toro. Emotional point, Italian did go to the market to gain at some cash at some. Italian did demo mobile yakso. Size just going moids on it. Molo de Lico, Sadaro, Maramato, Critica, the Kitrem Samo, the Aramid, Cheva, Vida, as quality of the Tico Shuri, or as Kamitari's perspective. Chciałbym być w Twojej strefie, tylko zalęta ma imię do wybierania.